Rumor has it that our camp is located right beside one of the best fishing pools on the entire river. Disguised by the ice and snow cover, the blue-green crystal clear waters of the Korok River are truly pristine and home to a prolific arctic char fishery. The first thing that you notice about ice fishing Inuit style is how practical everything is. To start with, the traditional method to make a hole in the ice is with an ice chisel or chipper. They're really effective and so there's no need to carry a gas auger or fuel for it. Then there's the tackle and equipment. A willow twig with 12 feet of line and a small silver lure tied to it. That's it. The fishing was amazing, and one angler in particular seemed to catch fish wherever she dropped her line. Sarah Ananak is a local fishing legend, and living up to her reputation, she put on quite a show for us. This classic Inuit pose shows Sarah shielding the hole with her shadow and blowing the ice chips to the side of the hole so she can see down into the water to watch the fish swim around and approach the lure. She talks to the fish and uses finesse jigging skills like short pauses, subtle twitches of the lure, and fast hook sets. It's like she coaxes each one onto the line personally. The Inuit are expert anglers. It's part of their culture. They've been fishing through the ice for hundreds of years using tools, techniques, and locations passed down through the generations. In the South, we've become so advanced in our fishing ways that we sometimes forget that the basics still work pretty well. Ice fishing Inuit style reminds us that you don't need a lot of specialized equipment or power tools to go ice fishing and that fish can be fooled with the simplest of things. In the end, Sarah caught 27 Arctic char, including a couple of 10 pounders, more than enough for us to eat a few, plus a bunch to take back and share in the village. <laughs>